Uh, welcome to a new video. The best smartphone camera on the market, currently probably one of the best, is this one inch sized sensor of uh, the Sony Xperia Pro i. And what I want to show you right now is how to make this the best vlogging device with a little accessory that I have here right now, which is the Sony Xperia Vlog Monitor for the Xperia Pro i. But this one also works for the brand new Xperia 1 Mark IV. So let's get started. So here is the box. Let's take a look around it. So we see what comes included, which is like the vlog monitor itself and a little bracket to attach this one to a tripod. For example, this tripod that I have here in the back. Uh, I already presented you this uh, very good tripod with this flexible um, from GoPhoto. And uh, yeah, I will try this out. Let's put out the stuff out of the box. I opened up the, li the lips here already on two sides. Sony is like praising itself like for not having too much packaging material, but I think this one here comes with a little bit more still. It has a nice flap to get it out here and then I think we can easily lift it up to open it there we go and there we have the different things here different materials as well so we have the lock monitor and the cable as you can see here on this little uh, on this package and uh, yeah let's open this up to see what's inside there lots of paper material actually actually only paper material oh, is there something else there's the cable and this little cable is a usb c to c connector as you can see here so this connects to the usb c port of the smartphone itself and the vlog monitor and then underneath there, I think, is the vlog monitor, this little guy here. And catching this material here. And there we go. This is the little vlog monitor from Sony, as you can see here. It has some buttons on the side, turning it on and off. Flip the view if you want to put it upside down. A brightness control. And we have an input here, which is definitely the USB-C here that we will get the output from our smartphone. And we have USB-C power as well, because you can charge this, I think only this or even the smartphone with this as well. And which is pretty cool, we have a three and a half millimeter microphone jack. It's not a headphone jack, it's just a microphone with plug-in power, as you can see here, which is pretty awesome because you can then use without any TRRS adapters, proper microphones for your camera, which is super awesome. We have a screw mount here, so it can also be mounted somewhere if you want to. So if I want to, I could mount it here on my tripod and uh, have it as a control monitor or something like this. And we have a Sony branding logo there as well. And that's basically it. I think there's some magnets on the back. And uh, let's put it aside because we have another wrapped in thing here, which is the actual smartphone holder. This little clam here with a Sony branding pr very prominently. And it has like this um, bag where you can clam on the monitor here with magnets it's holding and it should I think it should go, yes, like this, so in this little hole there and or this dent and then you have it like this. So let's take a look, Oops, it's a bit harder to get off at the clam here. It's made out of metal, which is pretty cool, has some softening here on the bottom as well as on the top and the back, of course. And yeah, what we have here is a cold shoe. I think it's a cold shoe. Maybe it's a even hot shoe. It has some pins here. Anyway, it's a cold shoe. It's a cold shoe. Why should it have a house shoe? It doesn't make sense. Anyway, we have a screw mount here as well. So you can mount it very easily. We have some uh, screws in here. I think for the clamp mechanism, as you can see here, 
it's an internal clamp mechanism so if I open it up like this I will not clamp in my fingers from the back which happens on some cheaper ones so it's a very solidly built uh, thing and what we want to do now is of course screw this in here then we will put the smartphone in here let me put it in how do I put it in I think I put it in like this I have to check extremely carefully where to put it because you can see that there are buttons here and there's a power button here so I've put it here and then you can see also on the back there's enough space now for the camera and we can then put the monitor in here clamp it on here make sure it's not blocking the view somehow so we can maybe move it a bit to the left so we have now even the the other lens I think this is the tele lens this is the ultra wide angle but if I want to use the tele lens I have it also uh, not in the view so and uh, the next thing that we do is just connect this here to the input maybe the other way around and uh, yeah this to the smartphone itself I'm not sure if this will work like this let's see there we go it did something here so let's see if I have to fire it on so let's turn it on so monitor is now on I see that it's on now so it's not an OLED apparently and uh, then yeah let's go to the camera app here and it asks for photography pro okay vlog monitor is connected it says and there we go I can see myself with the vlog monitor I have to get this a bit harder fist there we go so what I can see is myself recording with the RX0 Mark II that I will also do a video about it. and uh, I can see the power that I have currently and yeah I can start recording with this right now if I want to I don't have a recording button here this is certainly not a recording button so I have to press here on the top I could have gotten the grip from Sony as well but I really don't need it because you can just press here for recording and what will happen you can see if I half press it is showing that it's seeing my face and uh, this is now for photography only so if you want to do a nice little selfie you can do so and uh, it's no touch screen so you cannot touch on it but it shows you a little nice little preview and what is shown on the camera app itself is that the vlog monitor uh, screen is now connected and you cannot see anything here so the only thing I can do is like press here and then it will show me my selfie that I took but the vlog monitor is off so there's a bit of a limitation on how you can use it and uh, let's go back can I go into video mode yes I'm in video mode now I should see myself now yes it's says also here on the I'm not sure if you can see it there standby and at the timer and if I press record it says record and it's now recording as you can see here so this is working fine it's bright enough I would say I could imagine it also working in daylight conditions and now it's using the back uh, microphone that's located uh, here but of course you can also plug in a microphone here directly if you want to use the mic I think I will try this out maybe I go inside and try out the uh, wireless microphone in some windier conditions to see how good this is recording so and this is now a test with the vlog monitor attached to my Xperia Pro i and I can see myself in the monitor itself I can see also the uh, noise level the the voice level the audio meters basically of the microphone i'm using the sony microphone that i can for the first time use without any adapter trs y adapter that i usually have to use when i want to plug it in directly into the three and a half millimeter headphone jack of the xperia pro i and yeah stabilization should work fine everything should work fine i showed you photo pro app in my unboxing now i'm using the video pro app 
that is uh, yeah just working fine as well it's just asking for the first time if you turn it on if i allow the access of the video to the monitor itself and if i say yes here then it's working just fine and i can record myself and have a nice recording here yeah i think this is a nice vlog monitor i can show you some things here that i usually don't can cannot show you especially if i don't see myself it's like very very good here that i can show you for example what is behind me here for example this is a water tower an old one and uh, this one will be renovated and apparently it should be using uh, it will be like something for a you know, town hall townhouses will be built around it and apartments inside as well but it will be used i think as a yeah i'm not sure if there will be apartments inside maybe you can read it here on the back sign there so yeah this is also pretty cool that i can show you this right now anyway um what i can see on the back monitor is first of all in bright daylight conditions i can still see myself might be even a little bit better than the normal display and uh, also what i can see here is that where it's focusing on so i can clearly see it's catching my right eye here right now it's focusing on this eye if i hold my hand in front of it you can see it's closing up on my hand and focusing on this and then it caught my eye again so this is possible as well so let me show you this setup here that i'm using so uh, now inception recording because i'm recording with xperia pro i but also with the rx zero mark two to show you how it looks like when i'm filming and this is how it looks like as you can see when i'm filming so what i have there is the microphone on the top that you can see that is a wireless microphone and that is connected to the monitor on the side with the headphone jack and there is also the input that goes to the smartphone for the vlogging monitor itself i'm recording you probably hear the audio now from the xperia pro i because it is uh, connected to the microphone uh, that you can see there so yeah this is uh, what you can expect and how it looks like so what do you think about this uh, vlog monitor and uh, the, the option to have like is it the perfect vlogging camera i think it is definitely on yeah the one of the top vlogging cameras right now with this vlog monitor accessory and the possibility to see yourself to line up yourself the almost one inch size that is used here for the video so it's a one inch size sensor that is used here but it is uh, or it's a type one size sensor not using the full sensor size but it's still very good also in comparison to the rx0 mark ii that i had here that has a one inch size sensor which is completely used this one here has a better stabilization so sony nails it here with stabilization i would say has this good image quality has this good ability to plug in every microphone on earth basically that has a three and a half millimeter headphone jack and you can just use it directly you have your headphones still there so you can monitor it even if you want to so this would be also a possibility you can still see yourself you can still see if the exposure is good if i'm laughing into the camera not looking too serious because the damn sun is shining into my face so all these things here all in all even the clam which i was very skeptical because i don't like those clams that yeah have this like kind of spring loaded mechanism which usually i tend to just uh, clamp my fingers in there and not the phone itself and also the clam force is sometimes a little bit too hard or too harsh but this here is working perfectly everything is fine-tuned it has it's not too heavy it's not too clumsy it's not too yeah too disturbing when you want to record something when you want to take a vlog with this so i like the clam even which is i'm very surprised because usually i tend to use a clam for nulanzi that has like a screw where you can adjust the height of it but you cannot adjust the clamp force in this case so what do you think about this vlogging monitor and of course this is not only for the xperia pro i but also the brand new xperia one mark four there we go one mark four this is how we show four here in germany so yeah four anyway uh 
yeah, we will see how this will work on the Xperia 1 Mark IV, but I think on the Xperia Pro I it's working a treat already and it's uh, very good if you want to vlog and want to show something off. If you go on holiday or something like this, don't get an extra RX100 or something like this, only if you want to have the zoom capabilities. But if you just want to vlog with a one inch size sensor, I think this here is the perfect combination and I can recommend it uh, for you. Especially, I'm not sure if it's still uh, reduced in price, but especially it is, if it's reduced in price because 200 euros for this kind of log monitor is a bit expensive. But if you can get it for 160, 150, then it might be something to think of. So that's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.